And I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want them to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But keep being who you are, keep waking up every day, keep mo being motivated, staying who you are, staying 10 toes, don't back down, and just be confident. After LSU lost to Iowa in the Elite Eight. Let me tell you something. Everybody can have their pen on Angel Reese, uh, but y'all don't know her. Like, y'all don't know Angel Reese. I know Angel Reese. I know the real Angel Reese. And the person I see every day is a strong person. Is a caring, loving person, bro. The crown she wear is heavy, bro. She's the type of teammate that's gonna make you believe in yourself. The the leap that I took from my freshman to sophomore year, Angel gave me that confidence to go be a dog, playing next to a dog every day. And you know, just to see how the media ridicule her, went through our problems. But like, this is my sister right here, and I'm so proud of her. Like. The media, y'all, how they like to twist and call it a villain and all of that, y'all don't know Angel, bro. And I'm just happy that I get to play with her. I get to be around her presence. Her energy is different. Like, she, she just make me a better player. She make me a better player, and that's what great players do. Teammate Flaugé Johnson stuck up for Angel Reese. Angel's one of the toughest people I've been around. Facts. Um, people speak hate into her life. I've never seen people wish bad things on someone as much as her. And, and it does not affect her. She comes to practice every day. She lives her life every day. She, she lives how she wants to live. And she don't let nobody change that. And you know, that's the, that's the key to life right there. Y'all do not get to her. Uh, let me say it again, y'all do not get to Angel Reese. So you might wanna give it up, throw the towel in because you're wasting your energy. So Angel's one of the toughest people I've been around. As did first year teammate Haley Van Lith. It is evident that Reese gets hate. It's also evident that it goes too far. I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. Yet leave it to this guy. I don't, I don't hate or dislike black women. But damn it, I don't like or respect the way they're behaving. Jason Whitlock. Uh, again, I, I don't want... Racism is an issue in America, but it is primarily an issue for the poor. It's not LeBron James's issue. Who has become a national laughing stock. Blood in, blood out. Trump in, Trump out. This is a game. And he would weigh in. We have radicalized a group of young people, these black athletes that have been radicalized and made to hate their country. After seeing LSU falter, Whitlock would tweet, we can officially quit putting Angel Reese on Caitlin Clark's level. Stop it. One is an all-time great player. The other got famous for taunting. The rivalry is dead. First off, the only rivalry Whitlock knows of is just women's sports as a whole and media coverage. The nature, the disobedient nature of woman and the weakness of man, spelled out in the book of Genesis, stands the test of time. I bring this up because feminists are upset with me because late Monday night I complained via Twitter that ESPN spent the first six minutes of SportsCenter showcasing two women's college basketball games. After all, this was the same schmuck who criticized ESPN for giving media coverage to women's hoops just one year ago. The women's college basketball highlights caught my attention because the first stories on SportsCenter are designed to reflect the importance of the games and the interest of sports fans. ESPN's self-stated mission is serving sports fans anytime, anywhere. 
ESPN did not lead SportsCenter with women's college basketball as a service to sports fans. The network was servicing the feminist agenda. These quotes would age like a fine wine. I will go to the grave with this. This dude is an absolute clown. Saying two greats going at it, Clark of Iowa and Reese of LSU not being a rivalry, is Whitlock serving his own agenda to his fans. Remember who his fans are. Angel Reese is great, with a capital G. Her resume is stellar, national champ, most outstanding player of the tournament, SEC player of the year, two-time All-SEC mention, record holder for most double-doubles in a season in the existence of the NCAA, the conference's single-season rebounds leader, and LSU's greatest rebounder ever. Not mentioned in this graphic, by the way, is that Reese is a three-time all-defensive team selection. Stop playing. Just to have more fun with Whitlock's, you know, dumb commentary. Over the last two seasons, Reese and Clark have helped elevate the sport with their collegiate rivalry. Oh, interesting. Producing the most watched women's basketball game of all time last year, a rating that was likely topped on Monday. Even LSU great Shaquille O'Neal said this on his podcast. She's probably the greatest athlete ever to come out of LSU sports. You heard it here first, male and female ever, because guess what? She delivered. She delivered that package. See, a lot of us got the package, and we still got the package in our truck. She delivered that package. So, you know, there's a lot of names you could throw around men and women, but she's probably the greatest athlete. If you could, please do become a channel member at youtube.com slash TYT sports to keep us afloat and or go to tyt.com slash join. If you wish to follow me, you can catch me out on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a great day.